Every license of Creo Parametric comes with the mechanism design extension. And in addition to the basic connections like pin, cylinder, and slider that you can define when assembling a component, in mechanism mode, you have a number of different advanced kinds of connections. If I go to Applications, Mechanism, here I can create gears, cams, 3D contacts, and what we'll take a look at in this video, belts. And by going into mechanism mode, you can see that I have different symbols on the screen indicating that I already have some pin connections. If I click on the drag and then click on various components, you can see that I move, can move them around. They can rotate about an axis. And this one, because it has two different pin connections, uh, rotates about two different axes. So let's close out of the drag. And I'm going to create a belt between these different parts. So to create it, let's click on the belt tool and I will select this first surface over here and then hold down the control key, select that second surface. You can see a preview of the geometry that I'm getting and hold down the control key, select our third surface. And right now my belt is going the wrong way around that component. If I right click on the white circle, I can choose to flip the belt direction and now it's going the way that I want. And on the dashboard, there are a couple controls that I have. So first off, I have this field where I can control Young's modulus times the cross-sectional area. Let's change that to a value of 8,000. And also, we have a default length based on the positions of the components. And right now, Creo is measuring them to be about 1161. By clicking this button, I can specify the length. Let's use a value of 1250. And based on that, it actually causes this other component on the pin connection to adjust its location. So that looks good. Let's hit the check mark. And you can see the representation of the pulley here in mechanism mode. When I click on the drag now and then click on one of these components, rotating one causes the others to rotate because of the connection between them. Let's close out of the drag tool. And if I scroll down in my model tree, you'll notice that there is a belt feature here. Let's close out of mechanism mode. We still have the belt feature, but it's just not visible in standard mode. And to create geometry, you can right click on the belt feature and choose to make a part. And for the name of the part, I'm just gonna type in belt. Let's click the OK button. And in the creation options dialog box, I'm using my standard start part. Click OK again. And I'm just going to right click and use the default constraint. And then to finish component placement, you can click the green check mark on the dashboard or middle mouse button does the same thing. And if I expand my belt part in the model tree, you'll notice that it has a feature for the belt curve. Let's open up this, wait one second, just wanna see the location of the belt feature. Okay, uh, let's now uh, open up the belt part in its own separate window and there is the curve between the different components. I am now going to create a sweep to represent the geometry and I've selected the first curve over here. I'm going to use the shift key to grab the other different segments of the curve. Now let's click on the sketch button on the dashboard and I'm going to use from the in graphics toolbar switch over to the sketch view and I noticed when I took a look at the position of the curve, it was like biased towards one side. So I'm just going to go and choose to make it over here. And let's do a width of, let's say, 0.5. And let's change this to 0.15. And for the thickness, let's use a value of 0.1. Let me hit the check mark. And there you can see a preview of my sweep feature that's going to be created. Let's click the check mark out of the dashboard. And now I can hop back over to my assembly. 
and that looks pretty good. I can always modify the dimensions if I want to later on. Let's go and make a change to the actual belt itself. Uh, let's right click on the belt feature and choose edit definition. And you'll notice I'm not even in mechanism mode. I'm doing this right in standard mode, but I have access to my belt feature dashboard. And I'll change this to a value of 1200 and hit the check mark. But my belt part itself is not correct. Let's hit the regenerate button. And my part has updated. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.